Iron Flame, Burr Lancaster, that was the times. Those were the times where those movies were... I don't recall watching a big pirate movie on screen until the first Pirates, actually. The, the Iron Flame, Burr Lancaster, I saw on TV. And sometimes in black and white, actually, because there were no color TV until late. Yeah, I was never a pirate. I was always a donkey. Always the donkey. My school nativity every year I was the donkey. I never got to be the pirate. That's far too cool. I was the cattle donkey. I got promoted to star one year and I thought, that's amazing. I've made it. I kind of liked it. I made the most out of the donkey. I really tried to embody the donkey as much as I could. I mean, I don't know if I play acted a pirate, but I definitely had a stick and I was definitely whacking my sister with it. Um, <laughs> we, we could call that pirates, right? It was, I was probably around 10 when the first Pirates came out, and immediately I was just like totally obsessed, you know, and obsessed with Johnny Depp, and then, you know, you know, yeah, yeah. So since day one, since the first Pirates came out, I, you know, I went to the library, got like every pirate book I could at that age, and yeah, since then, man. Do you know, uh, I came in a, a, a difficult time because at my age, the pirate films had sort of died out. Uh, you know, there was Errol Flynn and there was Tyrone Power, and they weren't popular when I grew up. It was only, and really, they only became uh, popular again since our franchise, what, 15 years ago. So I, I, we were pretty pirate-free uh, in, in my childhood. We did have a cartoon series called Captain Pugwash, but that was about it.